In the United States, Donald Trump and Joe Biden are attacking each other from a distance during the meeting two days before the presidential elections. Donald Trump does not slow down the pace of his meetings three per day. He targets states where victory would give him hope of staying in his post. Thus, this week he crisscrossed the Midwest and during his stage in Rochester, Minnesota, he didn't spare his attacks against his opponent. Biden and the far left incite violence with their vile anti-police rhetoric and the fact that they're weak people, very, very weak people. They allow rioters to lay waste to the public streets that financed, and they were financed by you. This Saturday, Donald Trump traveled to Pennsylvania, again a key state in the race for victory. The Democratic candidate was also in central Wisconsin on Friday, a state which Hillary Clinton had neglected it four years ago, believing that it was acquired by the Democrats, and she had been beaten there by Donald Trump. So Joe Biden came to speak directly to this Democratic conscious electorate. I'm going to protect Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. And guess what? He's not going to be able to do it because we're going to win this election. Look, let's not forget how weak Donald Trump has been and chaotic. He talks about trade policy. My God, what a disaster he's been. Joe Biden will be in Michigan with distinguished guests, former Democratic President Barack Obama. More than 86 million voters have already cast their parties. That's more than a third of the entire electorate.